What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And today, we will be taking a closer look at XRP. And if you are new to this channel and you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for future content. That being said, let's jump right into the video with today's list. Starting off with scripture first, because God comes first on this channel. Um, second will be our subscriber shout out. Number three will be technical analysis on XRP. So today's scripture that I want to share with you guys is coming out of Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up the, with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. All right. Just wanted to share that with you guys today. Hope you guys study that and get it in your hearts and your spirits. And continue to hold on to that scripture. Shout, subscriber shout out goes to R Butler 8585. I appreciate you. You always have an opinion on, and you always state what's on your mind. Um, I always follow what you say on Twitter and also on uh, my my uh, videos in the comments section. So I appreciate you for being a dedicated subscriber. Shout out to you, man. All right. So today's technical analysis. We're jumping right into it, guys. Looking at the charts, we already know XRP has been ranging. We already know the whole entire crypto market has been on a downtrend. XRP, Bitcoin, all of them. But today we see something. That I, I like what I see in this area. We are getting back into equilibrium when we look at the Ichimoku system. Whenever these two lines are far apart, Kijinsen and Tinkinsen, as you see here, that shows that the market's out of equilibrium. And now they're starting to get back together. Think of them like two lovers that, that are in a quarrel right now. But now they're starting to make up. They're getting closer together. They were on vacation for such a long time for the last 18 days. Now it looks like they're getting back together saying, hey, baby, I want to fix things up and patch things up with you. So we, we're about to start seeing sparks in this area right here. So I had January the 7th as it makes its move to the it's going to pick its move to make it. To the upside or the downside right now i'm favoring the bears the bears are strong in this market the bears have been dominant in this market so where i want to uh, look at this chart now is the hour time frame <clears throat> the hour time frame we have a flat key sense so momentum has slowed at the top of this box so what i'm looking for is some type of range in this area or a break to the upside but <clears throat> I doubt that's going to happen because right here, what we have is a dark cloud cover pattern. And if you're not familiar with the dark cloud cover pattern, it's a bearish pattern. So I'm expecting the market to start moving down to the downside. Um, to clarify and to make sure that I enter in a smooth trade, I'm waiting for my signal line here, my red line, which will, is the which will take us down here. So if we look at the RCI on the daily time frame, we trend, which is our green line, is still underneath the 70 and the negative 70, negative 80 line. And you see that we our signal line is trying to push underneath the uh, zero. Uh, I said zero line. Our signal line is trying to push underneath the zero line right here. Once we ha have came underneath the zero, we closed underneath expect prices to start tumbling down if you take a look at it on the four hour time frame <clears throat> let's take a look we're still underneath the trend is still underneath the zero line so we are very bearish still um i'm expecting for price to start making its way to the downside based off the hour uh it came up it tried to come up higher but it, it's, it looks like it's about to fail so i'm expecting these two to come to, down together and get some action to the downside. So I'm expecting some action like this where they both move down together. And if that's true, I'm expecting prices to move down lower to the 18 region again and back, possibly down to this box. So that's what I'm looking at so far. And this is the halfway point of this box here. Uh, it shows some strong 
support. So if this is a possible area of take profit that I would take. I'm still bearish on this until we could get above 20 cents. And if we can't get above 20 cents, I'm expecting some downward momentum. Um, that being said, that's my technical analysis for you guys. It's quick. It's very fast. There's not much to say. We are still underneath the cloud on the daily time frame, so we're still very bearish. If we want to be bullish, we have to get above this blue zone. And if we want to be on a bull run, we have to get above this green zone. And I don't see that happening. So that being said, that's my technical analysis for the day. If you like what you saw today and you feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button. Comment your thoughts in the comment section and let me know what you think. All right. God bless you guys and peace.